have here in front of me. So, Emily Zach, you are up first. Um, <clears throat> um, most of you all pretty much know that I'm in favor of most of the people who spoke tonight. Um, and actually, the FDA approved the uh, COVID vaccine for ages 16 and up, which, which should be a good thing for more people to feel comfortable with actually getting the vaccine. So I think the numbers of percentages of people who are vaccinated will go up, surely. Um, and it's kind of sad that we're putting the K through 6 graders, who probably are the ones who touch their face the most in mass. It's, it just doesn't seem like a, a great idea to me. And it's actually really sad that they have to do that. Um, and I know in public, like, you know, I see you guys around, you know, you guys aren't wearing masks in public. You weren't two weeks ago. You probably weren't yesterday. Yesterday evening, going to the grocery store, going to restaurants, you're not wearing masks. I see you. You go home to your kids who are K through 6 graders. Like, I don't know, you call me selfish, you know, but you do the same thing. Um, and if we do end up masking for 7th through 12th graders, there's a hard truth to how serious these students are going to take it. The minute they walk into the locker room and there's no teachers around, they're going to take it off. The minute the teacher walks away from the lunch table after scolding some kids to put it on, they take them back off. Wear it under your nose is through the hallway. It, it just doesn't work. And we don't know that it doesn't work because we've never tried going into a school year not wearing masks. We've never even tried. Um, you know, and we talk about drunk driving. Um, girl talked about that. Well, you're more likely to be killed by a drunk driver walking out of here than you are going to from COVID. And if you mandate this mask for high school students, I can assure you that people are going to leave. And my dad's told me, hey, you can leave. And unfortunately, I'm not going to leave because I enjoy being a D1 All-State player. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to leave, but I can probably say that a lot of people are, and we've had some people come up today saying their kids are leaving. And it's hard to do, and it's hard to see. Um, and I'd like to thank the police officer here tonight, um, and I'm still the proud daughter of the selfish, self-righteous guy who spoke earlier. So yeah, that's all I got to say today. Can I ask you a question, Emily? Yeah. If students were given a choice, in-person school have to wear masks or virtual? If those were the choices they were given, what do you think they would take? Obviously going in person, but okay. there, there that's are- all, That's all, that's all. Can I just answer. say one more thing? Well, no, I just, just, you can- Well, there are other options too. Well, that's like my granddaughter when I say you have a choice of Sprite or fruit juice. And she says, I want Mountain Dew. Maybe the choices are only those two things. There is a choice. We're going back well, to school without well, masks. Well, maybe That's... there isn't. Maybe there isn't. And so <clears throat> I'm just saying, if given a choice, I think you summed it up because Dr. Mueller made it very clear that our primary goal is to keep our students in school. I understand that, and but we, have, she, we also have parents uh, who show up Emily, here. Emily, and they... Emily, I'm speaking now. So if the choice is to provide that safety for those students and the leadership team feels the best way to do it is to provide a mask but or they to don't. ask them to wear a mask then that those are the choices that they have i understand that and but so, we also have parents who show up and they say oh i, I really want my I'm kid not, to go back i don't want to get into a big debate about this well, it's not a debate it's just a conversation between me and you right now can, can we keep this just to our comments please yes. both of you so thank I you very much question, okay and i appreciate that so moving on to um jennifer deke 